Last night, Chital stayed awake late because she was happy. Her mother had told her that she would be going to school the next day. It was a beautiful morning. The sun was shining. Chital's mother had just fed grain to the chickens. The cows were grazing peacefully. A puppy and some chickens were playing outside. Chital saw them and smiled. A calf was sucking its mother for milk. Chital thought to herself, I should have some milk too. She went outside and washed her hands and face and brushed her teeth. Then Chital went to her mother. Mother, might I have some milk? She asked. Darling, the milk is in the kitchen. It might have gone cold. Go quickly and finish it, her mother said. Then I will trim your nail. As Chital returned from the kitchen, she was wiping her mouth clean. Come here, Chital. I will trim your nails now. Mommy, could you plate my hair too? Ask your sister, her mother said. I need to do the cooking. Chital asked, Dear sister, could you plate my hair? Her sister nodded. Chital, you will look neat and tidy today. She said, Really, sister? asked Chital. Her sister nodded and smiled. Chital went outside and asked the goat, How do I look today? The goat left and bleated. She went to the white rooster and asked, How do I look today? It fluttered and crowed excitedly. Chital went to the calf and asked, How do I look today? The calf mooed sweetly. Chital went to the puppy and asked, How do I look today? The puppy barked happily. Chital's mother asked her to put her on her uniform. Chital quickly put on her new uniform. Her mother had just stitched it yesterday. Meanwhile, Chital's father had arrived from working outside. He said, You look neat and ready for school. Do I, father? Yes, you do. But where are the shoes I bought for you yesterday? Oh, daddy, I've forgotten to wear them. I will put them on right away, Chital said. Very good, her father replied. Wearing her shoes, Chital went to the calf, the white rooster, the goat, and the puppy. She asked them, Dear friends, here are the shoes my daddy bought for me. Don't they look shiny? They all made their own noises and Chital thought they said yes. Chital was in a hurry to go to school. While she had visited schools the previous day, her teacher liked her very much. Her teacher asked her to arrive on time. Chital, her sister called, have you packed your new notebooks, textbooks, and pens in your bag? Oh no, I left them on the bed. I'll pack my bag quickly. Chital packed her bag along with her snack box and water bottle. Finally, Chital was ready to go to school, but she'd gotten one last thing. Breakfast! Chital sat down with her sister and started eating. Sister, I forgot to eat my breakfast while getting ready for school. Anyway, do I have snacks in my bag just in case I feel hungry? Snacks are not the same as a proper meal, Chital replied her sister. Chital's sister took her to school, holding hands. They walked in the sunshine. Chital said goodbye to the calf, the white rooster, the goat, the puppy, and the chickens. She promised to play with them after school. Her parents waved and smiled. Chital and her sister went on their way.